I are relating right now how we're both night owls because yeah. I'm not working the morning show tomorrow. You can sleep all night. <laughs> I could sleep all night. I could stay up. I could do what I want right now. But it was a beautiful day to yes, be outside was, today. Yeah. It's going to be a beautiful night, too, so you can go and venture out as a night owl. <laughs> as a so, night owl. Yeah. I mean, I don't go to, usually, if I get to bed before 2 a.m., it's a good night. <laughs> it's a perfect night. It was a beautiful day. We had temperatures in the mid-80s. Right now, we're still pretty warm out there, near 70, 68 degrees. Uh, the winds have died down a little bit after that cold front has passed out of the west, just at 3 miles per hour. We did have gusts, actually, in the Mankato area with a sh uh, scattered shower earlier that was near 40 miles per hour with that passage of that cold front. Dew points just at 41, just 37% humidity, so still dry out there uh, this evening. We do have an air quality alert for all of southern Minnesota until noon tomorrow as we will have smoke from wildfires that are currently in British Columbia and with that wind um, aloft that is bringing it our way and we'll see that heavy smoke especially start to make the way into the Mankato area as you get past midnight and last through the early morning hours uh, before dying down as we go into noon but it should linger another heavy band into the afternoon evening tomorrow before finally moving out as we go in to uh, early Tuesday morning. So tomorrow just be careful uh, if you're outside and any act outdoor activities with that smoke. Currently on radar, just some shower activity in northern Iowa that is starting to um, decrease very fast. Probably dis uh, disappear in the next hour or so as we go into the uh, midnight hour. And humidity right now, uh, pretty much in the 20s to 30 uh, percent for through Mankato and northward uh, where they're having the showers and near the border. It's more like 70 percent. Um, we had low humidity throughout the day, so we did have a rumble of thunder, thunder earlier uh, this afternoon in Mankato and some um, no precipitation made the, to the ground because they're so dry at the low levels. So any of that precipitation has stayed into northern Iowa where they're having a little bit more low level moisture. We had that cold front pass through. It's starting to make its way into central Iowa. It'll clear things up as we go into tomorrow as it moves farther south and we'll have a sunny day as we go into tomorrow besides the haze with um, some of the smoke from the wildfires. That rain again will move out as we go overnight tonight. We'll still have some cloud activity into southern Minnesota, northern Iowa uh, and it'll clear out as we go into the morning and to the early afternoon tomorrow. Temperatures right now and throughout the area pretty much in the mid 60s, uh, 68 Mankato, 68 St. James. Cooler out to the west and cooler into uh, northern Iowa where they have had some rain showers currently uh, taking place in over the last several hours. High temperatures today felt more like uh, the middle of June or July with temperatures into the mid to upper 80s. 88 we got up to in St. James, 86 in Fairmont, a little cooler in uh, Forest City, 82, but everywhere is pretty much into the mid to upper 80s, making it feel more like the middle of summer than uh, or late spring here. Uh, we have temperatures tonight that will stay close to 60 as we go overnight. Tomorrow we'll have temperatures in the low 70s that feel more spring-like. Uh, pleasant dry day with uh, temperatures in the low 70s again and not much winds either. Winds will be pretty much calm out of the northwest at 5 to 15 miles per hour. As we go into tomorrow night, it'll be pretty warm again as we go near uh, with a low near 60 degrees tomorrow night. As we go into tonight, uh, we'll have lows in the mid 50s, partly cloudy again, areas of smoke move in. Winds out of the northwest behind that cold front at 10 to 15 miles per hour. As we go into tomorrow, low 70s, again, we'll have areas of smoke, especially early into the early afternoon. Winds will pick up a little bit in the afternoon out of the north at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And we take a look at the extended forecast and start the week off pretty good with temperatures in the low 70s, sunny conditions. We have a system that will move through Wednesday afternoon into the evening. Could bring some rounds of scattered showers, but it looks to be widely scattered right now at the moment. and doesn't look to be too strong of a system. We'll be a little bit cooler on Thursday as we struggle to reach 70. And right now it looks like we're going to warm up, as the long-term models suggest, probably into the mid-70s as we go into next weekend. It looks pretty dry, too, overall. So another nice weekend could be on tap for us next week. Oh, it just all looks too familiar now. Yeah. It's just like a repeat of everything. Yeah, oh, that's well. That's true. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. And we have sports after the break.